you feel like you're lost in life. And you feel like you're a hamster on this wheel getting nowhere because you don't know your purpose. You have no direction. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to tell you the reasons why that's occurring. But I'm also going to tell you how to overcome it and create the reality you want and have the experience that you want in this lifetime. Sasrigal Sarayanu. My name is TJ Desange, and this is Team Body Warrior, and I'm about to drop that Body Warrior knowledge. The reason why people are lost and have no drive or feel like they're just not getting anywhere is because they have no sense of direction. They have no purpose. Yes, they have the idea of that, hey, I need some kind of purpose in my life or I need to do X, Y, and Z, but they can't even envision it. Now, that may be you right? But I'm here to help you. If you allow me to help you and give you some of this knowledge, I promise you, if you apply it, it will change your life. There's no doubt about it. But you have to be very cautious because even at this very moment, your ego might jump in the way and you're going to think you're Mr. or Mrs. Know-it-all, but then I will challenge you and say, hey, if you know everything, then what's the problem? Shouldn't you be happy? Shouldn't you be in love with your life? Shouldn't you be just cherishing every single moment? But I'm sure that's not the case. So you have to be very open-minded and have the ability to shift your perception because that is what true growth and transforming yourself is all about. The way I'm able to serve others is by doing this. I was able to change my entire life around. I've already battled depression, anxiety, and uh, addiction, and all kinds of craziness. I've been in the worst situations that most people would never even encounter in their lives. But I'm here to tell you, if you could just take time and really consider everything that I'm saying, you could change your entire life around and live a beautiful experience and create the reality you always wanted. It's not going to happen overnight, obviously, but you will start seeing changes at a very fast, fast rate. So, with that being said, I may sound harsh, but it's the truth that we're seeking, right? And if that's what you're seeking, then just hear me out. Look at your life, take a look around you, and just ask yourself, is this the experience you want? Is this how you always want to feel? And if the answer is no, That's okay, but there's a different way of doing things. You're headed in a place in your life where you have no idea where you're going. That's like putting in no directions on the GPS system and say, Hey, take me there. Take you where? Where is this place? At least tell me what does it look like. And when you get there, okay, then what? So that's no different than what you're going through right now, at this very moment. That's why you're lost. You're jumping around probably from relationship to relationship, job to job, and blaming everyone. Isn't that odd? You're trying to mold and figure out all the time where to go where to be who to surround yourself around and then you're gonna just jump around constantly buy this buy that do this do that and yet you're never happy but you're always gonna point the finger remember what I said don't let your ego get in the way we're seeking truth so just hear me out 
That's because you're trying to shape and mold your reality or people suck the energy out of them so you could feel good and it never works. How can that be possible when everything that you're wanting is going to occur inside of you? See, that's the very problem. When you feel love in your heart, you feel happy, you feel joy. All these emotions that you feel, even the way you want your body to be, all of it, it's occurring to you, right? It's occurring inside of you. But everyone looks outside of themselves. Doesn't that sound insane? You're searching outside of yourself to create what you want, which is occurring inside of you. That's why you can't focus outward. You have to focus inward. That's the key here. And you have to change your entire belief system around. See, you, you literally will create the reality and the experience you want in life based on the beliefs that you have. This is why people go through depression and, and anxiety and addiction and X, Y, and Z and all these other things because that's what they're creating. That's where their attention is constantly going. Oh, I'm feeling down. Oh, this didn't work out. Oh, that person, um, you know, left me or oh, at whatever it is. And you create all these stories and, and all these thoughts and most of it hasn't even occurred. That's the crazy thing. You're probably on the toilet watching this right now. And you probably already have gone through horror stories like 10 different, you know, versions of them in a matter of seconds. And you're just probably sitting on the toilet watching me right now. So no, seriously. And then you're going to wonder why you're having anxiety. I mean, what is it? What you, you're trying to. You're having anxiety because you're making up stories about the future that has not occurred. But now let's reverse engineer this. How about you create the story that you want? And that starts from within. See, when you realize that your mind is a tool and your body is a tool and you as awareness or consciousness has these beautiful tools, the mind and the body, then you realize that you are the creator. But what's the problem that's occurring right now? Your tools, your mind and body are working against you. They're not working for you. They're working against you. And you created that based on your past beliefs, right? You're Always playing the, oh, I'm the victim. So-and-so did this. It's always somebody else's fault. Again, uh -uh. don't let your ego get in the way. Hear me out. That's the truth. So let's change up the story. How do we change the story? How do you know what your purpose is? Well, first and foremost... Let's take a, you know, another step back here before we get into that. And what I'm about to say, there's a reason for it. We know the government is well aware of all these things that I'm saying. But they use it to their advantage and then it becomes your disadvantage. Because you have been sucked into everything that they throw at your face. I mean, I'm talking about from commercials... So you believe in a product and then you buy it, right? Netflix, let's just get lost in movies all day long. Let's watch YouTube videos of people, I don't know, licking a toilet bowl. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but this is a crazy stuff people like to watch for whatever reason. So now you're just absorbing knowledge that is absolutely useless. Right, and then you're going to say, you know, the government does this, it's the, you know, 
the politics. Yes, we already know that. Let's establish this. We already know that they play a lot of mind games. They, they're not really enslaving the body now. They are enslaving the mind. Okay, get over it. We already know this. But what are you going to do about it? So you're just going to say, okay, I have accepted that. So let's live a miserable life. Cool. No. You could overcome all of that. You can't get sucked into the drama. This is why I, I personally don't allow negativity to come into my life. Because if there's negative energy around me or negative people, once I start realizing they're negative, they automatically leave. I actually don't even have to say much. They will just know that, oh man, I can't flip this person. Like they're just not buying it. You will get to that point where people just will walk out of your life who are negative. You don't even have to say a word. It's because the story that I have created, it's in great detail exactly what I want. And everything that I've wanted so far, I've gotten. Everything. So, I know it's possible because I've seen the bottom of the barrel. I've been to hell and back, and I'm here to tell you, you could do the same thing. But you can't play the victim role. That needs to stop. That needs to come to an end. I don't care what situation you're in. Because that's another thing. Everyone thinks their story is better than everyone else's in terms of a negative way. Right? Then we start bragging about, no, you don't understand. I'm way worse off than you. Hell, we want to give ourselves points on how shitty our story is more than the other person's story. So let's just continue wasting time. Let's... You know, join all the other hamsters and all the other sheep. This is on you. Only you. Period. Point blank. We need to get that out of the way. Not the government. Not your homies. Not this. Not that. No. You. Only you. You as awareness need to realize that your mind and body, they are tools that are working against you, but we need to reverse engineer it. And they need to work for you, not against you. Okay? So this is where you need to take time out. And trust me, you have enough time. If you have time to be going through social media and looking at absolute nonsense, and you have time to do what it is that I'm trying to get at. You have time to look within yourself not outside of yourself, but within yourself to figure out what your purpose is. What is it that you want? And then I'm talking about in great detail. What kind of relationships do you want in your life? What do you want your body to look like? What kind of dream home do you want? What kind of car do you want? What exact colors do they need to be? I mean, I'm talking just extreme detail on every level. Because, see, we have this idea that, yeah, we need a purpose, and that's about as far as most people get, but they can't even envision in great detail what it is that they want. Now, once you do that, you need to grab a pen and paper, and you need to write it down. Because there's magic that happens, and, and I'm one of those guys, I just like to tell myself, no, I'll just keep it in my, my mind. No, there's something that happens when you write things down. I don't know, it's, it's just, it becomes more real, Okay. You need to write these things down and you need to go over them in your mind. You need to be dreaming about them. I mean, you need to literally live as if you already have it. And that's the next thing I'm trying to get at. You need to understand that when you're figuring out your purpose and everything you want, you have to figure out what it is that you want. Not, oh, well, I want to do this, but so-and-so is going to think X, Y, and Z about me, so that's why I don't want to do it. Nope, see, here you go. You're back into playing this little game. Victim roll again. Once you get these things down, they're engraved into your mind. Now, you need to act as if you already have them. Now, how would you feel? How does your heart feel when you have these things? You're feeling that happiness? You're feeling that love? That's what you need to feel. It's also the emotions, right? The feelings that come with, 
oh, okay, I made this business thrive. I made this money. Now, how does that feel? How does, how does that make you feel? So, you, yes, you, you're envisioning everything you want, but now you need to add those emotions and those feelings to it also. That's the key. So now you need to act as if you already have it. You need to feel the emotions as if you already have it. You already have it. That's it. It's done. Instead of doing what you're doing now. Right? Oh, I don't have this. Or when I do this, then I'll feel this way. That's what most people do. Can't be doing that because at the end of the day, how's it worked out for you? Probably not pretty good. So figuring out your purpose may take a little time, but that's where you have to look within yourself. Slow down. Take your time. Because you've already wasted, I'm sure, many, many years just spinning your wheels, getting nowhere, playing the blame game and all this drama. Take the time to look within yourself. Envision everything you want. How does it feel? And now when you wake up every morning, act as if you already have it. Man, doesn't it feel good? Man, I'm happy. I'm loving life. This experience, this movie that I'm seeing right before my eyes play out, it's beautiful. Then watch what happens. Everything just, you just start attracting everything. The doors open up for you, all, all kinds of stuff. You start interacting with people who you never thought you would interact with because now you're playing the part. So you, you're, you're, you're raising your, your energy, your, your frequency, right? Your vibration. That is the key to going from where you're at now, lost, and then becoming aware. Because once you become aware, you can't be lost because you know where you're going. You understand that the mind and body, what are they? They're tools. And now you're going to use them to your advantage. That's how you need to go about this. And I promise you, if you do this every single day, every single moment, and you're always aware. Now, again, there's going to be times where you may slip out. And that's when you, oh, you got to catch it. Boom. Bring it back to awareness. Oh, you're lost. Bam. Come back to awareness. What's your plan? What did you envision? Then you got to start putting in the work. It's not going to just come. can't be just sitting on your ass and expecting a miracle to happen. You have to envision it. You have to feel it. Then naturally, doors will open up. Then you'll come up with a game plan on, you know, how am I going to start maybe this business? So I'm not saying go and quit your 9 to 5. No, there's nothing wrong with working a 9 to 5 because on the side, afterwards, you could create the business that you wanted. And again, I'm just using a business, uh, you know, as an example. Or maybe go start working out. Right? Because remember, don't you want this certain type of body style? Didn't you always want to fit into those jeans or those shirts that you always wanted, but you couldn't? Don't you want to get rid of all your health issues? So you got to start working on the things that you are envisioning. And you have to add the emotion to it, the feelings behind it too. I hope you guys like these videos that I'm creating and I'm truly trying to do this as a service to help elevate individuals, to empower individuals, to seek the truth, for you to seek the truth. No matter what I say, you need to experience this for yourself. If you like these videos please subscribe please like share them if you can and thank you for watching so that's